Well, hey, that's Bruce Latch. We're down at Timeless Archery Finishing in Grand Rapids. 616-453-8309. Check out our beautiful website at www.timelessartgr.com. Well, today uh, we're just showing you this uh, 10 foot long mahogany conference table that uh, is just about stripped down. I've already went across it a few times and um, I'm just putting my last coat of stripper on here. We don't edit our videos uh, down here, that's why I'm not showing it from the start. But basically, uh, we use this clean strip right here. You can buy this at a Home Depot. Uh, not at Home Depot, but like at a, uh, where is it, Corey? Yeah, Home Depot, Walmart. Oh yeah, Home Depot, yeah, yeah not Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. Yeah, Home Depot and uh, Lowe sells it. It's a really good stripper, it doesn't remove any color. It just takes the old finish off. Um, that's really important to us down here. But anyhow, it's about ready here. I'm just gonna show you.
after off a quiet video. <laughs> no spraying, no air compressor. Center for a second. So I'm not going to have uh, Corey film all of this because he's over here in his uh, finishing room uh, finishing up another kitchen that we're doing. We're going to be working on starting uh, Monday out in Muskegon and he's doing the doors right now. But basically at this point I'll take a little bit of lacquer thinner and I'll just come over here like this and I usually have two rags instead of one. Yeah, clean it up like that with the thinner. It's pretty much like that. Clean the thing up with thinner, cut a few more rags up, and uh, get the rest of this little film off it right here. That just that's just stripper film that comes right off of a little thinner or, or water if you want to use water because that's water soluble. Um, I like to use the thinner because that way I can, if I have any finish left on, it'll, it'll help cut it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much. For, for that I'm just gonna finish this up here and let that dry overnight and then tomorrow we'll be ready to sand it up and we're gonna um, you can see we still left the color in it see how it can you see the color there oh yeah that's uh kind of what you want to do when you strip something it's not good to sit there and scrub on it with steel wool and distort the color in the area um, it's nice to try to keep the project uniform especially something like this where you don't have a lot of big gouges in it that you have to sweat or sand out. So, but I'm going to get over on my misery in life, which is this big piece over here, this custom built piece of walnut furniture that uh, a furniture builder here in town built. And uh, he does a very nice job, but he put on a paper thin veneer. And it's got tons of fine cracks in it, so I got to putty everything and sand it a couple of times before I even start to work on it. Um, it's not a job that I really wanted in our shop. <laughs> it's just too much uh, labor intensive. We got it flipped on the side. See the putty? There's the other half of it over here. It doesn't look bad. It looks really nice until you get there's this uh, when he pressed the veneer down on it. It's got a lot of little splits, little hairline splits like a razor blade in it. and. Um, so I'm going to have to go through the whole thing a couple of times, uh, you know, so. But once again, I'm down here at Time with Arts Refinishing. We do everything, conference tables, the kitchen cabinets over at Corey's finishing room, the custom-built cabinets, people around here in Grand Rapids bring us. We got, got it just right here that you can see, there's four antique radios here. There's two tombstones. Yeah, two little tombstones up the top. And, um, where the water is and behind the water. And, you know, we got seven or eight antique radios in here from uh, all over uh, the United States that were shipped here. These two little ones came in from, I don't know, Montana or something like that yesterday. So, But anyhow, we're going to be uh, knocking this out next week so you can watch the videos of the progress on this one. And uh, 
we'll be seeing this one in the future here. So, well, thank you and have a nice day.